ready! Blades, armor, look. Oh, it's a great pleasure to see you again at the forge. What can I do for you? Want armor that fits you like a glove? We'll make it for you. We should find the ruins mentioned by Lady Morange in this area. This is D3, the ruins Lady Morange told us about. But I do not know how to get there. The path collapsed. Some of the tunnels in the mine may lead to it. We should go there. Customers? <laughs> well, I have everything a miner could need. Greetings, my lord. It's a real pleasure to have a customer such as yourself. How may I help you? Thank you. It was a pleasure. To Palosone is here. The people of the village might be able to teach us a few things. Good day. What can I do for you? 
What can you tell me about the ruins on the plateau? You aren't the first to ask me about them, but the answer is still the same. I've nothing to tell you. Not that I wouldn't want to, but I've never been there. There must have been a path once upon a time, but it's no longer there. Maybe it collapsed. Some say that you have to pass through the mines to get there. A few of the tunnels do climb. It's certainly possible, I would say. But those tunnels are all closed, and we have better things to do. The iron ore. It doesn't come out of the ground by itself. Do you need anything else? Talk to me about the mines. It wasn't us that first dug them out. They're really old. Centuries old. But those tunnels are full of riches. It takes little effort to unearth the minerals that we want. What more could we ask for? But seeing as how there aren't that many of us, if we were pressed to mine all the tunnels, we'd be too few. But the time will come when folks hear about what we're pulling from these rocks. We won't be alone for much longer. Hello. You lost? No. Why do you ask? It's just that we rarely get visitors. Well then, what can I do for you? What can you tell me about the ruins that we can see up there? Uh, not a great deal. To my knowledge, no one's ever been able to reach them. There were some officials from the city that came, but when they saw they couldn't easily climb up to the plateau, they just left. There must have been a path that caved in. Unless some sort of tunnel in the mine takes you there. Anything else? What can you tell me about the mine? It's ancient work. The natives must have dug it out a long time ago and then abandoned it. Even if it is strange work for islanders, it looks more like something we would do on a continent. We're trying to restore it. The rock is extremely rich in iron ore. But the tunnels are very old. You need to go slowly. None of us are in a humor to be buried alive. We did explore a few of them, and we're exploiting the closest, but others, nah, they're still inaccessible. Anything else? I'll leave you to it then. Until we meet again. The piece I found was once part of this mechanism, but it's too worn. It needs to be repaired, or we need to find a new one.
Hello. You lost. No. Why do you ask? It's just that we rarely get visitors. Well then, what can I do for you? Is there any way you know of to make the lock mechanism blocking off the old tunnels work again? How do you think I would know? If all the pieces are still in it, I would say yes. If not, it'll need repairing. Perhaps some of the parts need replacing. Hmm. I believe I remember we found an old sketch of this mechanism in the mine. Serendipitous. Let me see. This is the one. Take it. If a piece is missing or broken, you should be able to replace it easily using this sketch. Thank you very much. This certainly looks very useful. And if you don't know how to craft whatever you're missing, you can always go and see the merchant. The pieces seem to be rather standard. Perhaps he'll have what you seek. Anything else? I'll leave you to it then. Until we meet again. Finally, here we are. These are the ruins that Lady Lorene spoke to us about. These buildings are similar to those of Dida Kid and Nadai Geis. They must have been built by the legendary peoples of the sea. Explore the area. Something may give away the identity of the architects.
This journal confirms what we suspected. A continental nation had once attempted to colonize the island with the help of the Nords, and they were repulsed. From what I was able to decipher, few of them actually managed to escape. Hmm. The major part of the journal has faded, and I'm not able to decipher the name of the author. Let's continue our search. We must discover which nation was here. This seal, I know the insignia, even if it has become more detailed in recent decades. It's hard to believe my eyes. <sighs> a seal? A coat of arms? What is it? A clan banner of some kind? Yes. Yes, something like that. This is the ancient coat of arms of Serene. It's a congregation seal. I think the information is pointing to something clear. No possible doubt remains. All the clues point in the same direction. The people from the sea who built these ruins and confronted the natives... They were us. It's difficult to admit. And to think that I turn to you to help us against the Bridge Alliance. I do not judge you guilty of the crimes of your ancestors. But this story is known. I know. This will not help our relations with your people, that is certain. Oh, this must be the reason they kept us in the dark. A Constantine is going to be furious when he learns this.
cousin! You have returned! How did things go? Oh, you don't look well. What's happened here? Nothing. Nothing terribly bad in any case. I must have eaten something that's having trouble going through me. Seems to me that this illness has been lingering too long. Who prepares your meals? Are they safe? No one is poisoning me, dear cousin. We are far from court and their customs. It's nothing. Take my word for it. Now then, what do you have to tell me? We had a talk with Lady Morange, and we explored the ruins that she suggested we visit. All our findings point to one conclusion. Those ruins were originally built by the Congregation of Merchants. The Congregation? Us? But Father never once even hinted. Once again, he must have deemed me unworthy to know the secret. How he must despise me. A Constantine. We need to learn more. I want to understand. I need to know everything my father has kept from me. This question also concerns you. You look too much like a native for that to be a coincidence. Since we cannot bombard my father with questions, others here must give us the answers we require. The congregation, even in the past, could not have made it to this island without help. We are pitiful sailors. You are thinking of us. But I assure you that I know nothing of this story. You are perhaps simply not aware, but your admiral stationed at the captainry surely is. Go and find her, cousin. Try to learn the final chapter of this story. Very well. Anything else? I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Good day, my lord. Disarday. I'm the emissary of the congregation on Tierfredi. And cousin to the governor. I know exactly who you are. Enchanted. I am Admiral Cabral. One of my noughts accompanies you from time to time, doesn't he? He must still be angry I've set him ashore. But I doubt that you've come here to discuss affectations. What can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island, ruins that after careful scrutiny were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions, questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral.
I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Nords are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands, and of course seek out the Bishop Domitius. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child. Hello, sir. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sade. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared, and I do not believe in coincidence. 
I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. We should talk to some other sailors at the port. If some of their comrades have also disappeared, they may be able to give us some information. Day. I'm looking for several sailors, some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere, and they spend their time spying on all that moves, especially eyeing all that the noughts are up to. Ah, and what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the island. Good day. I'm looking for two men, noughts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to... you can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that is where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. We're approaching the tavern. If you hope to hear some secrets, maybe we should be a little more discreet. You again. Why am I not surprised to see you implicated in this story of surveillance? I have no idea what you're talking about. A witness told me that you and others of your order seem to be spying on all comings and goings in the port. Two noughts were captured not long ago. You had to have seen something. You are mistaken, my son. You've been misinformed. I advise you to seriously change tone and tell us all that you know. You wouldn't want to suffer a humiliating defeat now, would you? I... I, I do not appreciate this attempt at intimidation. But very well. Since you insist, these noughts were arrested. We were forced to interrogate them to bring to light their pagan rituals. It wasn't a sanctioned arrest, was it? No. The Mother Cardinal is not aware. Not yet. But as soon as we have succeeded in making them talk and they have confessed their heresy, she... Of course. Where did you take them? The coin guard has... lent us their jails and some men. We do not normally like to call upon the services of these brutes, but... we have need of their skills and discretion. These Inquisitors really don't realize the consequences of their actions. We will have to proceed with caution.
A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. You won't be disappointed. Of that, I can assure you. Come on. Halt! You have no authority to go any further. And if I gave you this, so that you might go and have a little fun? In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while, but be discreet. Thank you. Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification before they can execute their plan. We should go see this Demetrius after all. What he will tell us may help us understand. What do you want from me, my son? Sir de Sarde, emissary of the congregation. Ah, the congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the Norts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my son. And of course the pagan noughts would be among them. They are very secretive, and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. 
The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature. Just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings, we suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a Nort suffering from the Blood Plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? <laughs>